Let's watch that video. Let's watch it now. Last time, let's watch that video. Let's watch it now. Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today's episode is about a single board computer named La Potato. This video is part one of two. But first, we give thanks to the products or services that make these videos possible. Instant coffee crystals and mini chocolate donuts. Yum, yum. Le Potato is a small form factor, single board computer manufactured by Libra Computer in Shenzhen, China. It utilizes a system on chip, multi core, and multi function CPU based on the ARM instruction set. The 2 GB version of Le Potato sells for about $35. The 1 GB version is about $5 less. La Potato is commonly compared to the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. The Raspberry Pi 3 is suffering from supply and demand issues, and the asking price for a new board, the 1 gigabyte model, has inflated to around $130. The name itself is amusing since potatoes are considered to be a somewhat unexciting food, frequently used as a joke in internet memes, while Raspberry Pi is a sweet and savory dessert. Specifications. In comparing pies to potatoes, the technology is typical for a 2014 to 2017 era armed based system on chip single board computer. Here's a comparison spreadsheet for the Raspberry and potato single board computers. This was compiled around December of 2022. For the cost, we've already discussed this, uh, it's inflated right now for the pie, about $130. The potato is uh, $35, quite a bit less. The pie has radios like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built into the board, and the potato does not. You would have to use up some ports and uh, add that externally, and then support it with software or whatnot. Usually it's just a dongle you plug into the USB port, which is what I'm going to do. The CPU system on chip, the Pi 3 uses the Broadcom, Le Potato uses AmLogic. Both have four core CPUs. Uh, core speed is about 300 megahertz higher for Le Potato, uh, twice as much RAM for Le Potato. The Pi does have a version of Windows that runs on it, uh, version 10 IoT or Internet of Things. That could be uh, a big deal for some people. Power required 2.5 amps for the Pi 3 and 2 amps for the Potato. Uh, GPU, I don't know anything about it. Ethernet, uh, the Pi is ahead with two ports. Uh, the Pi does have composite video, which is useful for some old school gaming. Both have HDMI ports. The Pi does have something called a CSI camera port and a DSI display port. Now, that, I'm not sure what that is. That could be useful for uh, monitoring applications like security or devices or in uh, automation situations. Both have a micro SD card support. The Le Potato has EMMC support. That's like a really fast. SD card, but it does require a proprietary adapter to make it work. For USB ports, they both have four. La Potato does have a infrared I.O. I, I think you can use that for like controlling uh, TVs or devices like your uh, remote. Both have an AV CVBS jack. I'm not sure what that is. Both micro USB powered. SP diff header, that's audio. The Le Potato has one. There's some other header differences. I guess what most people really care about is the 40 pin header that's uh, kind of ubiquitous across these types of boards. And they're supposed to be compatible, but I have a, a note about that uh, later in the video. Both have support forum. Obviously, the Pi 3 support forum is huge in comparison. 
uh, full schematics. It says full schematics on the Pi website, but when you download it, it's reduced. You actually do get the full schematics for the uh, Lab Potato. Device tree overlay files, those are important if you want to change functions of uh, pins by default rather than using uh, user land tools. As far as uh, Linux support, the most recent Raspbian uh, was September 22nd and Armbian was released on November 30th. The I2C bus speed, there appears to be a couple of issues with it on uh, Raspberry Pi, uh, whereas the um, Let Potato can run at the higher 400 kilohertz speed. I, I'm not sure about the Pi 3's 100 kilohertz I2C limit. This is kind of important for me as I'm, it's one of the use cases why I'm buying the board. But some have said it exists and it's a flaw in the CPU firmware. Others say the Raspberry just needs a reboot after reconfiguring the bus speed. Uh, the basic claim is that the user attempts to set the bus speed to 400 kilohertz. No error is returned. The user tools show the bus speed is operating at 400 kilohertz. But a scope shows the bus is actually running at 100 kilohertz. Now I have not verified this myself. The Amlogic S905X system on chip is used in many of the media boxes that you see for sale on uh, eBay, Amazon, and elsewhere. Here are some benchmarks. They were captured in December 2022 from the Libra computer website. These benchmarks should probably be taken with a grain of salt because they are compiled by Libra computer itself the manufacturer of Lab Potato. Moving on, this first slide has a description Pi 3, so it is likely the same 1.2 GHz ARM system on chip used in the Model B, not the 1.4 GHz version used in the B+. I don't know very much about benchmarks. This one is called SysBench and illustrates single versus multi-threaded performance. Lower is better and Le Potato appears to run about 15 times faster than the Raspberry Pi 3. The next benchmark is encryption. The Amlogic system on chip has a hardware encryption chip coprocessor and these various OpenSSL encryption modes appear to run about 20 times faster on Lab Potato. The memory benchmark is using memcopy and memset routines. Looks like Lab Potato is about 25% faster than the Pi. The application benchmark uses C-Ray and GZIP. Similar to the previous benchmark, Lab Potato appears to be about 25% faster. The Java benchmark runs about twice as fast on Lab Potato. SD card reads and writes are about three times faster on Lab Potato. Finally, we have a set of power consumption benchmarks, and Lab Potato draws about half the power of the Raspberry Pi 3. Unboxing. I ordered two micro SD cards from eBay, one micro SD card from Amazon, a Wi-Fi dongle from Amazon, and the Lab Potato single board computer from Amazon. The eBay seller shipped the two 64 gigabyte Ultra SD cards in a small manila envelope. Amazon shipped the Lab Potato single board computer in one envelope with the Wi-Fi dongle and the generic 32 gigabyte SD card arrived in a second envelope. So we'll start with the two 64 gigabyte SD cards from eBay. They appear to be new in original packaging and include an SD card adapter. Here's the 32 gigabyte generic SD card from Amazon. And here's the box for a lab potato. And then here's the box with the TP-Link Wi-Fi dongle. We'll start with the Wi-Fi dongle. It's got a plastic case and a Windows driver CD-ROM. Also, there's a small pamphlet with instructions for the Mac and Windows. 
Here is lead potato removed from the box. It's an anti-static bag with a bit of protective foam. It looks to be about three and a half inches long, two and a quarter inches wide, and a half inch thick. Libra Computer says it will fit in a generic Raspberry Pi case. So that's it for the unboxing. The next video will be Le Potato Part 2, continuing this video. As always, thanks for watching. Giant Bobcat!